Breathe it in, my bastards. We are on the very cusp of this year's events, and today we start it all off with an explosive matchup that promises to be one for the ages. Garbed in red, we have a stunning figure who needs little introduction. It's Goldmane, the Lion Tamarin Woman. Across from her, we have an ancient idol who has found a new purpose to kill in our arena, Relic, the Iron Man. Now, something I'd like to address before we get started here. We've been asking you fine people in the arena to please dispose of the posters. Goldmane's PR team has been tacking up everywhere, and I thank those of you who have, but I'm afraid it's a losing battle at this point. As I had mentioned in our intro, the Lion Tamarin seems to be a bit confident, maybe confident to a fault. However, it may be a confidence well warranted. After all, Deft's movements in a sharpened blade can get a fighter pretty far in Splatterface, as we have seen. However, the sassy Tamarin should keep her wits about her, as her opponent today is a strange one indeed. Ominous, looming, Relic stands unmoving. It's hard to say how it must feel at this very moment. Assuming it feels at all. Those dark eyes peering boundless voids into a mind that may not even be. Who could say what secrets those unseeing portals have beheld? What unknowable sights lie stranded in a sea of ancient darkness? Though a better question I propose. Who is ready to see a lion tamarind woman get smashed into the arena's floor? <laughs> yes. Fighters, prepare yourselves and let the first round of this year's Splatterface commence. Here we go. Goldmane spares no time and charges straight in at the lumbering brute. The two come together and begin a deadly dance. Oh, there's that gas. A yellowish fog begins to spray out of the Iron Man, out of a break in its fractured shell, actually. Goldmane has scored more than a few hits at this point. Very quick. As the fog clears, Goldmane is seen charging into and falling back from the Iron Man, a rather silly tactic. Skittering around the floor, around the Iron Brute, Goldmane is beginning to cough, a nasty effect caused by that gas. Here's hoping it doesn't distract her too much. Though it doesn't appear to be. Goldman continues to score hits on Relic. Hits that are starting to add up. Oh, there we go. Relic's hand goes flying away. Another hit causes a crushed foot. Relic falls. And there goes another hand. The deadly dance continues as Goldman struggles to further slow the metal monster. Who just will not stop coming. Some splatters of blood can be seen now. The tamarind isn't yet hit, but it comes from her coughing, which seems to be getting much worse. That being said, Relic is really starting to show some damage now, in a big way. The Iron Man is little more than a ragged heap at this point, though Goldmane's attacks are starting to weaken as she gasps for air. And, ooh, she goes down. Goldmane is overexerted, but she's not out of the fight yet. Relic's foot is shorn away. But now the Iron Man is trying something new. Relic appears to be trying to grab the wiry Tamarin, who is somehow managing to wriggle away time and again. Ooh, wait. It looks like Relic finally has Goldmane dead to rights. Goldmane is unconscious, being strangled by Relic. Oh, and that is going to do it right there, people. Goldmane is down. Hate to see it. But now for our timer, which probably won't matter at all for a fighter of iron like Relic here, but let's see. And there we have it. The winner of round one is Relic. It was a close match out there to be sure. Even a casual glance at the Iron Man's ruined form can tell you as much. Not a problem, though. We'll get our best smiths on the task of rebuilding Relic, and before long, they'll be good as new. Dwarven skill right there. I'm sure it'll be enough to do the trick. Oh, and you know what? I guess I hadn't considered what we would do in the event that one of our competitors was unable to choose a new piece of gear as a prize. Well, what do you say, Relic? How about a nice new helmet? 
seems a little strange to put armor on something that is, well, <laughs> already basically armor. But the more protection, the better, eh? It certainly couldn't hurt, right? In fact, you know what? I think it'll complement your already terrifying presence quite well, Relic. I do not envy those who will be facing you down the road here in Splatterface. As for Goldmane, I think we've all learned a lesson about hubris today. And that lesson being that sometimes it can be well warranted. You have to admit, folks, Goldmane did a damn fine job out there. And I have to say, this match was a lot closer than I thought it would be. Well, you justifiably self-absorbed lion tamarind woman, we lay you now to rest in the Hall of Legends, a place of great esteem and boundless honor, from which you can bathe in adoration until the end of time swallows us up. Now, my fine people of the arena, I hope your appetite for honorable combat has been somewhat wet by today's bout, but you have to remember... <laughs> We're just getting started. The next bout will be between Hulking Iceberg, the Leopard Seal Woman, and Graceful Song, the Swan Man. Place your bets, fill your mugs, and don't go far, because we're just getting started.